This is the train to South Kensington. Yeah, I know. You shut up about it. I'm trying to get a kick. Oi! These bloody lights! Put some money in the meter! Hello? Anyone there? Look, it's, it's June, not October. Stop... Stop with the Halloween tricks. <laughs> help! Somebody help! <laughs> can... There! What a marvellous mechanical machine you are! Doctor? Are you done messing? Done? Done? I have barely begun scanning the area for time distortion. And that is exactly what this device is for. But... Well, that just looks like an old Walkman. Oh. We're in London. How did you know? The scanner. I can see the Royal Albert Hall. Oh my god, are we going in there? Oh, come on, don't keep a girl waiting. Sadly, no. Shame. Some of the gigs there were well classy. Right, let's bring in kiddo. Oi, Warren, we've landed. Go on then. Open the doors. May I? Go on. It's this lever here. All right. What? Great heavens! This is strange. I feel like I recognise this place. You should do. It is still Earth just many years in your future. How long has it been since we left? Hmm, for us, around ten minutes. But for London... And 400 years or so. 1986. Philippa, it is my job and privilege to tell what time period we are in. Well, maybe stop tinkering around with that poxy Walkman and look around. So, this tool, this machine, is that what it's called? Is it some... Some... Is it tracking some strange magic? Time distortion, young Warren. Time distortion? Is that bad? I hope it's not. Somehow, the signal is quite strong. It seems to be coming from this direction. What, from down that road? Hang on. That leads to South Kensington Tube Station. A gateway! To both science and history. Tube. Ah, uh, yeah. 14th century boy in 1980s London. Okay, so don't panic or anything, but instead of horses and carriages, there's... Cars. B but the tubes, it's sort of like a train. Train? <sighs> it's it's going to be hard enough, first thought. Philippa! Warren! We are off! Follow me! Is he always this excited? Ah, oh, just run first and ask questions later. Dr. Bauer, your report on the time gate has come back. Ah, how did you do? We managed to keep the time gate open for approximately... Five minutes and 40 seconds. 
That is a great improvement, but still not enough. When will the next attempt be made? Not for another day or so. According to the radiation levels, the time crystals will short fuse. But we must act now. We are on the verge of time travel. This will be most lucrative. Dr. Bauer, it is unwise. There has been a murder nearby, and the police will be around, and... We know what to do. Besides, they will be very much distracted. Distracted? It is feeding time, Miss Jerry. Have you brought some lunch? Yes, Dr. Bauer. Then give it to them. Uh, look, look if, if we open another portal, surely we can take them back. They are mine. They will stay with me. Y- yes. Just find more to go. I can feel it. We are on the greatest breakthrough that humankind has ever witnessed. There! The signal is coming from inside that station. Wait, we're going underground? It's okay, Warren. It's nothing to worry about. People in London use the underground all the time. What's down there? Trains. Oh, never mind that. The time distortion readings are going off the charts. I suppose we'd better get our oyster cards out. Hang on. 1980s. No oyster cards. Billy Purr, do you honestly think I have ever paid for public transport? You got a gadget? I got a gadget. So I'm guessing this time distortion is upsetting the blue box. Not upsetting, well, more like an annoyance. We were travelling down the time corridor. Then the TARDIS found energy spikes along this timeline. Got it? Right. Come on, then. Please, ladies and gents, due to unforeseen circumstances, this station is closed. But I've got to get to work. Oh, I have a wedgie dress for you. Oh, we'll be late. Just give us a flat. I am sorry, but there will be bus replacements which will take you to the next station. Blimey. Even in the 1980s, London can't survive a train station closure. Maybe it has something to do with the signal. We need to sneak in. I could distract the guards. You mean the police? With what? Oh, you just wait. Now, now, Warren. None of your gung ho This isn't a battlefield. Right. Good day, sir. What a fine morning. It's one in the afternoon, sir. Now, would you please move aside? I was wondering why the station is closed. I cannot disclose that information, sir. I was just told to stand here and do my duty. And you're doing a most spiffing job of it. But if you wouldn't mind letting us in, see, I have this. Blimey, you came quick. Uh, Sorry, Dr. Smith, I was just trying to keep the public out. Oh, you were only doing your job. Now, please, if you wouldn't mind showing me and my colleagues here the evidence. Evidence? Uh, Doctor, I've no clue. It's clear that something untoward is going on. This isn't just a regular line close, is it? Uh, No. Uh, All right, then. Uh, In you all come. These are Flip and Warren. He's a bit young for all this, ain't he? Work experience. Ah, I see. Who might you be, then? Constable Mike Jameson. Right, then, Constable. Ah, yes. This is all we found down there. Hang about. Is that a dinosaur bone? A claw, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. There's blood on it. Fresh blood. Blood, which matches that of the murder victim. Was there a murder? That's why you're here, is it not? Oh, yeah, of course. One moment, I'll radio down. I'll see if I can get you to the lines. I've got a really bad feeling about this, Doctor. Glad it's not just me. Nonsense. Now, I'm sure there is a perfectly logical reason for all of this. Probably.
It seems we are breaking so and that's a time spike. Prepare to open the portal. But will the computers deal with that? We almost lost half a million pounds of scientific research. It has to fuck. What is the velocity counter reading? 9.34442. Tell me when it gets to 10. 9.566. Nine six six four nine 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 three ten. We did it. The portal is working. We have just opened a rift in time. This is a great honor, Doctor Bauer. Something is coming towards the portal. Another specimen. Prepare a cage. It is coming closer. Prepare for it now! Another one! We have to get to safety! We can't just leave the machine running, can we? Hopefully it will go back. It sounds like it has. Or it might have left the building. Ah. It's going to be well weird seeing the platform empty. Never mind that. Just the fact that we're going underground is strange to me. Oh, Warren, the things you'll see travelling with the Doctor, your brain is going to be blown daily. What is that thing? Oh, just my reminder to take my insulin. Doctor? What is it? I saw something down there. It could be rats. Didn't look like a rat. You all right, Warren, mate? You look a bit pale. Maybe we have jumped him a little bit too fast, Flip. Shall I take him back? Yes, that's probably best. Guess we should have expected it. At least a bit of a culture shock, eh? Keep him out of trouble. Come on, kid. Let's go get an ice cream. What is an ice cream? Uh. Uh, they all right? Uh, yes. Lunch break. Fair. Right, Doc. Brace yourself. What you're about to see, it's quite out of the ordinary. Just how I like it. Right, mind your step and take a pair of these gloves. Don't want anyone contaminating the evidence. Ah, murder on the underground. Has a little ring to it. I wonder if Agatha would have enjoyed that title. The body was found at approximately 12.20pm. Hmm. It seems to be slashed. That would account for that claw you found. And are these teeth marks? Well, this was not done by the hands of a human, was it? We expect some animal has escaped the zoo. Teeth marks around the throat, and three slashes on the torso. A blood trail, which leads to... Footprints. Well, well, well. I'm confused as to why those are here. Tracks. Prehistoric in origin. Prehistoric? Try 65 million years. Ancient. So, dinosaurs? T-Rex? Even deadlier. We'll wait if the doctors come back up. As the ice cream. Strange, but good. Can't go wrong with a 99 flake. Oh my god, I need to take you to... Uh, what was that? The air vent later or something. Maybe. Or oh, not. What is it? I've no idea. Just run! Warren, run! Is that a bloody dinosaur? Quick flip. This way. Where are we? This is a completely different part of... 
We're surrounded! Oh, I have many things I could say right now. None of which child appropriate. Quick <laughs> flip! In here! Oh. You, you all right? I'm fine. Oh, flip, it got you. Your face is bleeding. I'll be okay. We'll just hide in here till... till the beasties bugger off. I hope the doctor's okay. I'm sorry, but dinosaurs in London? Raptors in London? I'm afraid so. The time distortion I was picking up was incredible. It must have been conducted and stored around the static electricity of the underground. Velociraptors are apex predators. They ever get out, utter chaos will fall. No one will be safe. Oh my god. Stay behind me. We seem to be surrounded. Just keep calm. The district line train is about to approach. Please stand away from the platform edge. I thought you said you cornered all of this station off. I hope it's some fault with the tannoy system. Oh dear. Doctor, there are going to be people on that train wanting to get off. We have to stop it. How? We are currently surrounded by dinosaurs. They're going to attack the train. No, no, no. Killed everyone. At least it wasn't busy. <laughs> Run! Oh, oh, oh. oh, so many stairs! We need to lock the door oh. quickly. Oh. oh, where are we? Must be Sloan Square. Ready all entrances. Tell them to close <laughs> all the gates at once. I'll try my best. Hmm. Aha! Just as I predicted. Okay, what is that thing? Seriously. It reads time distortions, like the one currently being caused by those raptors. You're not really anything to do with forensics, are you? The coast is clear. Great. So now what? Do we find a dock, sir? The raptors went down that way. So I reckon we can go back down the stairs to the tracks, locate the doctor, and let him know what we saw. What's happening with the lights? I don't know. Maybe, like, maybe like a surge of energy. Energy? Haven't you noticed this place is dark? There should be lights around. Something must be draining the power. You know, sometimes you sound just like the doctor. Well, I've been travelling with him for quite some time. You get to know a little bit of the lingo. Flip, who is she? I've no idea. She looks sus, though. Here, hide. Shh. Conductors seven and two have been storing. Now, let's see if this thing works. What does she have in her hand? A mobile phone? That doesn't look like one of those brick types that they're meant to have in the 80s. That's way more advanced. <gasps> Did you just summon those beasts back? Nah, look. Those raptors have lights on their heads. The ones chasing us didn't. Can't say a good luck. I was too busy legging it. Shh. Oh, crap. We seem to have some intruders. Copy that. Now listen here. We need to block all train stations. We are looking at very hostile creatures roaming the underground. Already I've seen some casualties. I'll report back to you if I find anything, Sarge. Get anything, Sarge. That thing seemed to have found something. We must be getting close. Ah! Here! It's a disused hose box. It appears so. 
Now tread cautiously. I am not looking forward to climbing back up from that. Come on then, enough with the suspense. What's going on? Why are those monsters here? Monsters? They were the most successful beings to ever live on Earth. If it wasn't for that meteor, who knows what advancement they would have had. Who are you? <laughs> Guten Abend. Who are you? I am Dr. Anton Bauer. Welcome to my laboratory of wonder. <laughs> I get major evil villain vibes here. Are you behind all this? The Master of the Monsters. Quite a nice title, I must admit, but... Alas, I did not create them. I rescued them. What? All in good time. Now, Jerry, what are the results of the mind probe? 84% satisfaction. Hmm, I suppose that will do. Wait, did you just scan us or something? Why do you want to control the raptors? Miss Jerry and I come from a secret organization dealing with time travel. Ten years ago, we found a strange beacon that landed in the heart of a London park. It was a time machine. We studied and, with the help of many scientists, we were able to see the past. We saw the age of dinosaurs from the beginning to the end. So how did you get the raptors to come into this... time? Using the unlimited static power of the underground, we conducted a tear in time. The raptors were curious, to say the least. They came, and we knew that they would be tricky to tame, but not impossible. Finally, we have the power to control and bend the mind of the greatest and deadliest predator that has ever lived. What for? We are on the edge of a new century, my girl. We must protect our borders from any threat, human or otherworldly. Raptors are swift and they can kill instantly. We have the power to bring back life from extinction. We can finally be the gods that we deserve. So many have already died. Even if you do control them, it's cruel. Cruel? Humanity has become cruel. To itself, it is time for the old masters of the Earth to teach them a lesson. Now, what to do with you? You can either join our course, or we can kill you on the spot. See, the one thing you forgot to ask the one question. Are we really from the 1980s? You must be. Nope. You're wrong. Neither of us are. Not at all. If you want to get technical, I was born in 1988. Impossible! Ah, there you are. Doctor! Who are you? Here's the doctor. That's me. Freeze! Put your hands up. Both of you. The police. <laughs> <laughs> A gun? Seriously? My raptors will be faster than those bullets. Oh, great. The dinos are back. Fascinating stuff. Uh, one question, though, Doctor. What will happen if you lose control of these raptors? We won't. Ah, but I think you will. See, um, you can always do many things to nature. Nurture it, bend it, destroy it. But the one thing you cannot do is control it. If you take more dinosaurs out of time, the ecosystem will not be able to cope. So please, stop whatever this is. I won't ask again. Slits for me, madman. <laughs> Jerry. Great. Now she has a gun. Now, Doctor, if that is your real name, of course, I would step away from the controls. Yeah. <laughs> Warren, you got free. Eh, they need to learn how to tie a knot. No! The computer! The raptors! Look at them! 
promising that PC was the sole connection to their control devices. My creations? You destroyed them? I don't think so. Looks like they're getting their minds back. Come on! Oh, um, mustn't forget you, Flip. Oh, thanks. Hang on, where's the girl? Flip? Flip! Oi! Get off me! I don't think so. Are you mad? I got away from those things, they made me see sense. Your doctor is the one to make all this work. He's never out here. I think it's you they're after, not me! Are you crazy? You'll get us both killed! Where is your doctor? Her doctor is here! Doctor! Let her go, um, <clears throat> Jerry, Gary, whatever. Look, both of you are injured, and you need medical care. You would risk your life for hers? At every opportunity. Those raptors will eat you. You... You stopped them? How? By using what knowledge I have on their species. This whistle can emulate the sound of their call. I heard nothing. Yes, it's their call to hear, not yours. Now, I would give it up if I were you. <coughs> <coughs> It's going to be all right, Flip. They devoured her. Come on. We need to get these creatures back to their time frame. What? By using that whistle? That's the plan. Philippa, your face. Oh, yeah. I've got a bit of a cut. I call it a war wound. Let's get you fixed up. Come on, you wee beasties! Ow! Stop being so dramatic. It hurts! Well, you were scratched by a raptor, Philippa. There we go. Oh, thank you. Oh, where's Warren? In his room, napping. Oh, that was a lot of action for his first adventure. His first adventure on the underground, though. It's like things come full circle. We first met on the underground. That we did. Flip. Yeah? I suppose I'm glad those raptors didn't gobble you up. <laughs> Me too. Now that is how I prefer my dinos. The bones are fascinating. Did they dig all these up? Over many, many years, yes. What else is in this museum? Bored of all the fossils. <laughs> Just interested to see more. I know where to take you. More to your liking? This is my era. It is? Come on then, teach us. Well, I, I don't think... Doctor. No, go ahead, young Warren. 
teachers of your time. Okay then, this is a pike. Now pike can come in loads of shapes and sizes. 